It's not a day off that brings J.R. Shute and two assistants to this beautiful mountain stream in East Tennessee. Uh, this is the place where we've probably spent more time than anywhere else, but every time I come out here, it's, it's, it's just great. I love this place. This is Strictly Business, a search for tiny creatures that always leads to one of the most unique laboratories you'll ever see. These 600 fish tanks are the heart of Conservation Fisheries Incorporated. These guys are, are fish that are found in little tiny coal mining streams and mostly up on the Cumberland Plateau. Here you'll find tiny ecosystems that literally mean life or death for flashy fish with colorful names. Spot fin chub, gilt darter. They'll sit there like a bunch of puppies thinking they're going to get fed. And ashy darter. It's a really rare fish. Most if not all of these small swimmers are endangered, literally being saved at the last moment by JR and his partner at CFI, Pat Rakes. Meet two men who could be dubbed the odd couple of fish survival. We must get along like an old married couple, I guess. I mean, it's been 25 years or more that we've been working together. What's the right word? We have our idiosyncrasies that complement each other nicely for taking care of different aspects of the business. They are pioneers, the first, it appears, to try and save endangered fish as a business. Over the past 20 years, that business has grown steadily, thanks to high quality work and some outstanding results. You know, when JR and I started this, we were starting as students in ichthyology and taxonomy. Uh, but most ichthyologists and taxonomists kill fish. They go out and, and, and catch them and preserve them to study later. We were actually more interested in keeping fish alive in aquarium, observing their behavior and learning about them in, in that way. And there aren't a lot of scientists doing that. We've traveled with Pat and JR to places like the Elk River, where the boulder darter is being reintroduced, to Abrams Creek, where CFI is helping to bring back fish like the dusky darter, and the yellowfin mad tom, and to the Teleco River, where the spotfin chub is returning home after being decimated by logging and erosion. A lot of these species would be on the endangered species list if not for them, so they're to be applauded from all the citizens of Tennessee for helping keep fish off the endangered species list or getting fish removed from the endangered species list. The spouts, tubes, bubbles, artificial environments, and fish tanks are all a part of a great experiment. For while CFI's track record is excellent, it's always a learning process with these little animals, a fact TWRA and other agencies respect. They've restored a lot of mad toms and darters uh, over the years that, uh, like I say, most people never realize they're there, but they're back there now because of them. The work in the hatchery is certainly important, but the real work often begins here in streams such as Sitico Creek and the Cherokee National Forest. It takes patience and dedication because quite often this work is literally one rock at a time. Most of our survey work is, is visual uh, counts of fish while snorkeling and, and keeping track of our, our effort. While we have a pretty good idea exactly where to look, still, when you flip over 30, 40, 50 rocks, and all of a sudden you flip one up and there he is, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's like a, like a little Easter egg hunt out here. Right, this is a nest eggs of the Sitico darter, endangered Sitico darters. The female attaches them to the underside of the rock, and the male guards them until they hatch. We'll hatch them and then these will ultimately end up over in the Teleco River. When we go out and find uh, some of our fishes that we've reintroduced that are starting to do well, that are starting to reproduce and colonize, that's pretty exciting. Between trips to beautiful streams like Sitico Creek and working on their discoveries in the laboratory, Conservation Fisheries has literally saved some species of fish. It may be trial and error at times, but Pat and JR have helped make the natural world a better place, in spite of the odds. We're not getting rich at this. There's, there's no doubt about that. All of our funding is grants and contracts that are annually renewed that are very small per species. Uh, the only way we've been able to keep doing this and grow to the point where we're hiring some people and pay ourselves full time is by doing a lot of different species. And unfortunately, there are a lot of species in the southeast that are highly imperiled. I'm Alan Griggs on Tennessee's Wild Side. <laughs>